Since I was younger, I was into video games. Somebody like the views so I can bring bad news to all these crews who can't NBA jam with the shoe. What's going on, guys? Welcome back to another beer review. I am fired up for this. Uh, new brewery on the channel, uh, Liquid Gravity. Never heard of them in my entire life. Uh, I think they're in San Luis Obispo. Brewed by Liquid Gravity, San Luis Obispo. Um, this is a collaboration with McElhaney Brewing. Um, McElhaney are the father-son duo that started Alpine way back in the day. Um, and if you guys have followed my channel for any amount of time, um, I've made it clear that pre-2015, is that right? Probably 2000. I think Green Flash bought Alpine in 2015. I think that's right. Alpine was my favorite brewery in the world. Um, I will die on the hill that back in the day they made the best West Coast style hops that there was. There was nobody better than them. Um, I mean, fucking trips out to Alpine were just, it was amazing. Pure hoppiness, Nelson, Duet, Bad Boy, freaking High Kicks, all those beers. Oh, exponential hoppiness. Those beers were just next level amazing. They made the best hoppy beers. I literally, I'll fight every one of you. Um, and then Green Flash bought Alpine and Alpine just sucked after that. I have no problem saying that. Their beer was garbage. So, um, Pat and Sean, I guess, are starting their own brewery again. And I think from, I read it a little while ago. I don't know if it's 100% true. I think they're getting their old Alpine brewery back. But um, this is a collaboration between Liquid Gravity and McElhaney. And it is called Welcome to Alpine. And it is a per the can West Coast double IPA. Clocking in at uh, 8.2%. Um, and it says it's hopped with Nectaron. Um, we just had a slice beer. I think it was Kitty Milk that was hopped with Nectaron. Rad Hop, I like Nectaron, um, which is from New Zealand. And then it says, um, featuring Nectaron and then supercharged using a brand new hop product called Incognito. No idea what that is or what that means. So 8.2%, uh, there's not a, a canning date on this, but this was canned two days ago. Today's February 12th and this was canned on the 10th. Um, I saw this on social media. Uh, Liquid Gravity did a four pack of collaborations. One with McElhaney, one with Slice, one with Rip, and the other is escaping me right now. Um, so I just, I mean, I've never heard of Liquid Gravity. I didn't really know what to do. I w took a flyer and, bu and bought a four pack. So you only got one can of each. So if this is really good, I'm gonna be bummed that I didn't buy more. <laughs> so um, I'm hoping this has old school Alpine West Coast vibes. I really do. Because if I can get back on that train, I'm fucking so ready for it in my life right now. Um, I hope they open up, holy fuck, I can smell that already. I hope that they open up a brewery and I hope those dudes make their old beers because seriously, I fucking, my pants are just fitting funny thinking about it. So let's get into it. Uh, this beer looks amazing. I don't know what it looks like on camera, but it is cl crystal clear. Um, it is straw yellow. It might look darker on camera to you guys. Finger and a half of fluffy, bright white head. Um, I don't have liquid gravity <laughs> or McElhaney glassware. So we're using a black uh, ninja glass. This is the big, uh, big Papa glass. It's Papa Smurf with, with Biggie Smalls' face on it. It's fucking awesome. <laughs> I love this glass so hard. So yeah, looks like a West Coast double IPA. Like I said, as soon as I cracked it, I could smell that. So let's shove our fat nose in it. See what it's got. Oh my gosh. This smells sagged. Oh wow. This is a good first impression for, from Liquid Gravity. Holy crap. This smells amazing. It is fruity, it's vinous, it's grapey, uh, stone fruit. And it's dank, it's floral, um, it's herbal. It's got a good bready sweetness to it. This smells like old school West Coast double IPA. Fuck, this smells amazing. There's citrus in there, a little bit of like that kind of grapefruity, maybe sweet kind of tangerine. But it's so fruity. Oh man, it smells ridiculous. I'm salivating. <laughs> My mouth is watering. Let's go and taste it. Cheers. That's crispy. Man, that's good. Um, I will say it's weird. Um, there's plenty of bubbles in the glass, like carbonation wise, but it doesn't feel, what's the best way to describe this? I don't want to say it feels flat on your palate, but it's not crazy spritzy. 
just right off the bat, I wish it was spritzy. Um, but it's so fruity. It is stone fruity, tropical fruity. I don't know if I could pick out exactly like, I would say like peachy kind of nectarine-ish on the stone fruit, tropical fruit wise, like maybe like that kind of mango-y pineapple vibe. Um, but it has that killer Nelson thing. It's super, super dry. It's vinous. It's got like this white grapey thing. Um, this isn't, I thought this was going to be since it's, I mean, Mackle, I keep on saying Alpine. McElhaney has like a, like this is a collaboration. I thought this would be intensely bitter, crazy, like dig into your tongue and it's not. It's super duper easy drinking. I mean, there's a little bit of bitterness there, but it doesn't linger flies off your palate. It does. It finishes so, so dry, which is crazy because it's over 8% and it makes me want to chug it. Nectaron, this is the second beer I've had with it. It gives me Nelson like feels, um, that dry, just vinous white grapey thing, but there's something else in this, whatever the turbo charge, whatever they're talking about. It's so fucking stone fruity and tropical fruity along with that just hint of grapefruity like tangerine thing this is fire <laughs> this is suck it love it wow this is really fucking good <laughs> i think i it sucks it's like i, I want to buy another four pack of this but i would only get one can of it i would love a four pack of just this beer i would, I would love two or three four packs of this beer it's great fucking awesome awesome stuff so we'll leave it at that there's not much else to say um this gives me that old school kind of Nelson feel that Alpine used to brew, but it's so, it, it offers like so much more stone fruit and tropical fruity notes. It's fucking awesome. I just can't get over how dry it is. Like I want to like pour the rest of this and just chug all of it. Fantastic. Fantastic. So uh, that's welcome to Alpine from Liquid Gravity and McElhaney. Um, <laughs> usually I say, if you've had this beer, leave a comment below. I don't know if anyone's had this beer, so... Um, I wonder if anyone will watch it. Don't know. Don't care. This beer is fire. So that is it, guys. I'm out of here. As always, thank you so much for watching. See you very soon. Cheers. Thank you for coming behind the bar in the arcade. All this shit. Ever since I was younger, I was into video games. Somebody like the fuse so I can bring bad news to all these crews who can't NBA jam with the shoe.